This episode was brought to you by Dashlane. The Kingfisher, quite possibly the most appropriately named animal. Hi, I'm Danielle, and you're watching Animal Logic. Kingfishers are a family of beak heavy birds found all over the world, though most species live in Africa, Asia, and Oceania. There are over a hundred described species of kingfisher, and for the most part, they all share a similar set of characteristics. A long, pointy beak, a big head, small legs, and a short tail. Though there are some exceptions. The shovel-billed kookaburra, for example, has a conical bill, which it uses to search for worms in the mud. And the paradise kingfishers are best known for their long and luxurious tail feathers. While there are many species of kingfisher that don't typically eat fish, their dives are what they're known for. And oh, how they dive. Kingfishers will perch on a branch overlooking the water and wait for the perfect opportunity to dive bomb their prey. Some species of kingfisher take this to the next level, like the pied kingfisher, which is the largest bird in the world that can hover in place. They beat their wings eight times a second, much like a hummingbird, only several times larger. Some species will hover up to 10 meters above the water, high enough to be sure that they won't be spotted by any would-be prey. Kingfishers have very strong and adept muscles in their neck, which they use to keep their head stabilized while searching for fish. Like many other predatory birds, they have very large eyes, with a limited range of movement that give them an increased ability to pick out prey at a distance. They have an intuitive understanding of how water refracts light, taking that into consideration as they dive down at full speed. Their beaks are shaped like needles and slide into the water with ease. When they hit the water, their prey has less than a second to react. In order to keep track of where their prey is, their eyes have a third, translucent eyelid called a nictitating membrane that protects their eyes from the water. This allows them to keep their eyes open while diving. If their prey is too large, they will hit it from above first to stun it before swooping in for the kill. Kingfishers will also smack their prey around if it's struggling too much before swallowing them whole. There are three subspecies of kingfisher. Tree kingfishers make up the largest subfamily, and there are over 70 species, including several different kookaburras. <laughs> tree kingfishers are most common in Asia and Oceania, and are often found in tropical rainforests and open woodlands. These kingfishers don't specialize in fish, and instead, their diet is made up of small vertebrates and invertebrates. Many species of tree kingfisher and other kingfishers that eat primarily insects have shorter bills than their fish-eating cousins. River kingfishers are found in the Old World and in Australia. As you may have guessed from their names, river kingfishers eat fish, but they'll also eat insects. Interestingly enough, you can tell which kingfishers eat fish and which eat insects by looking at their beaks. Insectivorous species have red bills, and fish eaters have black bills. Insectivorous river kingfishers can even catch flying insects in mid-air. And finally, water kingfishers. This is the smallest subfamily of kingfishers with only nine species, six of which are found in the Americas. Kingfishers vary in size, from the African dwarf, which is about 10 centimeters long, to the giant kingfisher, which is about 45 centimeters long. The heaviest of the kingfishers is the laughing kookaburra at about 500 grams. Kingfishers nest in holes, usually in tunnels in the ground. The largest known tunnel dug by a giant kingfisher was 8.5 meters long. Though there are some species of kingfisher that will live in arboreal termite nests. Most species of kingfisher are monogamous and are very territorial. They'll put up a fight for the best fishing spots. Laughing kookaburras, unlike many of their cousins, will stay in the same territory year-round. They use their maniacal joker laugh to warn others to keep out. Frightening. 
Both parents will incubate the eggs and feed the chicks. Some species, like the laughing kookaburra, exhibit cooperative breeding and will help raise young that is not their own. While many species of kingfisher are stable, not all are so lucky. The Marquesan, Javan Blue Banded, Mangareva, and Sangha Dwarf Kingfishers are all critically endangered, primarily due to habitat destruction. Kingfishers are some of the greatest fishers on the planet, but even they could use protection from sophisticated fishing scams. That's why I signed up for Dashlane, a digital identity manager that has made my life online way easier and more secure. For starters, Dashlane generates and stores secure passwords for me, and then autofills them whenever I need them on the internet and on any of my devices. It's made my life a lot easier. I no longer need to remember which password I use for which website. Dashlane manages it all, much more securely than I ever could. Dashlane also securely stores all of my personal info, mailing address, and banking information, which has made checking out online that much faster. But more importantly, you won't have to save your information in an unsecured browser or with a merchant again, leaving you in control of your online identity. If you want to get started making your online life easier and safer, be sure to follow the link in the description or go to dashlane.com slash animalogic to sign up. And the first 200 people to use the promo code animalogic will get 10% off their premium subscription. What animal should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching!